on my yard a quarter mile at a time. <laughs>
you got to do a square. Yes, are you? Yeah, I think you're, yeah, you're out of gas. You got a real one. Yeah, you're out of gas. <laughs> you used all the gas. Yeah. Chevy LS swap my Mustang to Godzilla. This isn't even a craftsman. <laughs> this actually was my riding lawnmower until I got a new one. But this is a Bolin lawnmower. The original engine we started to put in it was a 77 Corvette engine, but the cylinder block had a crack in it, likely from freezing. But this one is a 90s truck 350. It's got a uh, just an Edelbrock 600 on it. This is a radiator to some Honda. I don't know. I bought it off Amazon for like 50 bucks. <laughs> yeah, it's got a 350 Chevy in it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just around the house. <laughs> we ended up, the auto parts store was sold out of the straight uh, neck here, and I really wanted to get it going, so I built this cross, cross pipe for it. But the frame is extended eight and three quarter inches from here to here. It is very mildly strengthened. I mean, check this out. Not strong at all, but it's all right because it's got a Chevy power in it, so it's not going to really crazy power. The gearbox is only rated for 37 horsepower, but since we got a 350 Chevy in front of it, we're completely safe here. It will not break. It's actually slower than stock. I'll show you. That's mainly because I thought I was being smart and ordered a gearbox that was same direction, meaning the same. If it's counterclockwise coming in, it's counterclockwise on the bottom. And now reverse is forward and forward is reverse. So the fuel tank here, this is a power steering reservoir to a 1997 Mercury Cougar XR7 with a 4.6 V8.
that many cylinders just to haul around my ego now. <laughs> <laughs> you but I think he wants to race. Alright so what do you guys want to see done to this thing? I definitely gotta upgrade the steering so I mean performance wise. You guys want to see a uh, real transmission behind it or <laughs> or <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they just said, but it was something about freedom. But anyway, <laughs> you guys want to see a cam in this or something? I just leave the comments down below what you guys would like to see. Tractor flaps on all eight of these. And then, most importantly though, what should we name this? Turfzilla? <laughs> Who knows? Just leave the comment down below what we should name it. Now I'm going to go on and drive off into this sunset with my Chevy. Scott Guthrie over at Vets Unlimited helps me out with this whole build. He's the one I got the engine from and exchanged it when the old engine was cracked. Helped me out with the carburetor and getting this whole thing tuned up. Came over and got helped me get that uh, plate down there turned down on a lathe to adapt the PTO to this thing. So sadly, this is one of the only things I had that works. Godzilla to be determined. <laughs>